Hey guys, it's Janixa and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sitting on the floor of my nail polish room and we are going to do a Black Friday haul unboxing. I went a little bit crazy with my Black Friday purchases this year, which is a little funny because going into Black Friday, I had zero items on my list to buy. So I honestly thought I was gonna buy nothing on Black Friday, but I should have known better. This is me we're talking about. <laughs> I saw a really great deal and I had to snag them. I only bought from one brand this Black Friday, which I think that's pretty good because so many brands had really good deals, but I kept myself to just one. Yes, I did spend a lot, you know, at this one place, but hey, I'm gonna take the small victories wherever I can. <laughs> Today I am doing an unboxing of, well actually no, it's not an unboxing because I already unboxed everything. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you guys what I got from Holo Taco. And I'm also gonna give you a little bit of a story time because I'm a big dork and you guys are gonna see why. So let's just go ahead and get into me showing you my haul. <laughs> Okay, so before I get into showing you the polishes, I do have to start with my little story here, little story time. <laughs> um, so I think it was the summer, summer this year or summer last year. I, I'm sorry, my brain is just a total fog. I don't remember whenever Holo Taco released their pastel, pastel linear Holo collection. <laughs> um, okay, so up until that point, I had all the hollow taco shades that they had released and then when she announced that pastel rainbow hollow i was so excited because i was like oh my god i have never seen a pastel rainbow hollow collection so i'm super excited for this and then they showed the shades and i wasn't excited anymore i was actually kind of angry i'm like this is not pastels and let me just clarify I still think that they, those are not pastel, <laughs> but yeah, at the time I got really angry and I just ended up getting rid of everything that I had. I, I sold all my hollow tacos except the unicorn skins and a couple of the Frosted Meadows collection because those were some of my favorites and I just couldn't part with them. So. I kept those and sold everything else, even the limited edition polishes like Got Cake and the First Anniversary Collection. I just, I was mad, you guys. I was like, this is a money grab. <laughs> I don't think it's a money grab anymore, but I do feel a little bit let down by that pastel thing there. It's, they're not pastel. They're not pastel. <laughs> but anyway, after I saw the Fall 2021 collection, Oh, I started to get the itch for Hollow Taco again, and I was like, oh my god, they're so pretty. And then I had an awesome follower reach out, and they actually purchased the collection for me. So I was over the moon, swatched them, and I love them. And then when I saw the Christmas collection, I just... They reeled me back in, you guys. They reeled me back in. So <laughs> when I saw that they were having a 20% off site-wide sale for Black Friday... I went crazy and this is what I bought. Let's start off with gift receipt. This was one of the ones that I sold in my, um, you know, I don't like Holo Taco de stash anymore. <laughs> um, and it was because it wasn't my favorite of the Frosted Metals, but you know, if I'm gonna try to get all the colors again, I need to have this one. So gift receipt is one of the ones that I purchased, the creams these four creams. Um, so it's green screen, royalty blue, banana hacks, and duct tape gray. Holo Taco's creams are actually pretty good. I mean, obviously you don't go to Holo Taco for creams, but they are pretty good. I like them. They're, they're highly pigmented. No complaint, com complaints, no complaints from me here. They're actually really, really pretty. And Guys, don't you think that Holo Taco's bottle just looks so luxurious? Like, I feel like I am buying, you know, some fancy, like, Gucci, Louis Vuitton <laughs> polishes. I don't know. They just, they look so fancy to me. I love them. All right. Then I picked up the, oop, almost dropped it. Then I picked up the Electric Hollows collection. 
Oh, this one really caught my eye when it first came out and I was trying to be like hard and be and say, no, I'm not buying Holo Taco, but this one, ooh, I was so tempted. This one is Hot Wire Pink. This one is Full Charge. This one is Hydro Power, Circuit Breaker, and Electrostatic. They are freaking gorgeous. Oh, I love them. Um, oh, and quick note, I said earlier about the Pastel Rainbow Collection, I said it came out in summer 2021. It didn't. It came out April 2021. So that's when I decided I'm done with Holo Taco, never buying anything from them again. And then, um, yeah, here we are. <laughs> Next, I got the Life's a Beach Trio More Creams. This one is One Melon Followers. This one is Seafoam Home. And this one is The Floor is Guava. Again, beautiful colors. And again, of course, they caught my attention. I don't even know why I tried to pretend that I was never going to buy from Holo Taco again. I, I, I don't know, you guys. <laughs> these are so pretty. I can't wait to try these. I haven't tried them yet. And then I do have Not Milky White. Because, of course, I mean, and then I did get the um, uh, the black one when they were doing the make a purchase and get a one coat black free. I do have that one. Of course, you guys already know that if you saw my Battle of the Blacks video, Battle of the Black Nail Polishes video. Next up, I got Midnight Spark and Rainbow Snow. And you're probably wondering, well, where are the other ones from this collection? I actually didn't buy them from the Holo Taco website because I found them on someone's D stash. And I have them right here. So I got them cheaper than what Holo Taco was offering, even with their sale. So of course I went for it. Play Rose, Frost Light, and Party Punch. Even though these technically weren't from a Black Friday sale, I'm still considering them as part of my Black Friday haul because I got them that weekend. And then these came from a dish stash also. And I am so lucky that I was able to get my hands on these and add a reasonable pro reasonable. I am tongue twisted today <laughs> and at a reasonable price the first anniversary collection again i did have these before and i sold them and ugh, i'm such a dork um this is gold flaky hollow taco purple flaky hollow taco and blue flaky hollow taco i was able to find these on a d stash page for 50 dollars on instagram and i snagged them up Yes, it is more than the retail price, but because they're no longer sold, you know, I've seen them on Mercari for about $100, and I just, I can't do that for just three polishes. But I'm so happy that I was able to get these. I just, ugh, so excited. <laughs> then I went ahead and, of course, repurchased the original Rainbow Hollow collection. So I have Red Licorice, Blue Freezy, and Orange Drink. And then I have Lemon Sucker. I was going to say Spritzer, but that's from the Pastel Collection. Purple Slushy, Green Taffy, and Magenta Jelly. <sighs> I, I, I just keep going back to me getting rid of them and... I just can't believe that I did it. Like I got rid of everything. And and I think the one that hurt the most was Got Cake because I'm sure you guys have seen how much that one goes for. On Mercari, I've seen it for as much as $200. And again, another lovely, amazing follower sent it to me free of charge. And it was brand new. I am floored by the people in the snail community. You guys are amazing. Um, that's why I try, whenever I see that somebody has a lemming, you know, a polish that they're really looking out for and can't get their hands on it, if I have it or if I know about it, I try to, you know, either give it to people or, you know, find it for people, whatever I can do, because I know that feeling when you really want something and you can't get your hands on it and then, if you finally do get your hands on it, it just feels so good. It brings me so much happiness. So I try to bring other people happiness too, especially since I've been treated so well in this community and I'm so, so incredibly grateful. And now the final collection that I purchased from Holo Taco. I think you guys know which one this one is. <laughs> The one that started the disdain for Holo Taco that didn't last very long. The Pastel Rainbow Collection. This is Lemon Spritzer, Lavender Syrup, Peach Tea, Coral Chaser, and then Mint Mojito, Sparkling Water, and Pink Fizz. 
Okay, now that I have these in person, because I, I never bought these, this is my first time getting these. Now that I have them in person in front of me, I do like them, I do, they're very beautiful, but I am sticking to my guns. These are not pastel. Um, another indie brand actually released, I'm uh, sorry, I was putting them down. <laughs> another indie brand actually released pastel hollows I would say about a month or so after Holo Taco did it. They're called Enchanted Polish. Unfortunately, they aren't open right now. I don't know if they'll ever be back, but if you just look up pictures or info on Instagram, again, it's Enchanted Polish. You'll see those are pastel hollows. And I really hope that Christine, you know, brings something better out than them. I mean, again, they're very beautiful. I have you know, no gripe there. They're really beautiful, but they're just not pastels. No. <laughs> um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think I am overreacting here? Do you agree? Um, tell me, I want to know. Well, you guys, that was it for my Black Friday haul. Um, yeah, I got a lot of polishes and I'm excited. The only three that I am missing are the flaky, no, the Scattered Hollow Taco, the Linear Hollow Taco, and the, oh, I can't remember. Scattered Linear Flaky. Yeah, Flaky. I, oh, why am I second guessing myself? <laughs> anyway, those, my sister actually bought them for me as a Christmas gift. Thank you, sister. <laughs> so those are on their way to me. And then I will have the complete Hollow Taco collection all over again and i'm so excited for that i obviously didn't show you all the hollow other other hollow tacos that i have because they weren't part of my black friday haul these are the only ones i got only ones as if i only grabbed the one or two <laughs> i'm sitting here with like 20 polishes in front of me <laughs> but they make me happy i'm glad i was able to get my hands on them at a discount because we all know that hollow taco does not do sales like this like ever so um yeah i'm really happy with my purchase well you guys that completes this video thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye